Hey guys, just eating a bunch of snacks while I wait for the Nintendo Direct. I'm like, yeah guys, are they gonna show Zelda? And they did show another Zelda. A sequel to Breath of the Wild. I'm like, oh yeah. This is what I want, folks. But, uh, it's gonna be a while. I don't know, I've watched this trailer like a dozen times. So, I'm already hyped. You know, always a little bit of disappointment no matter what, because it's still gonna be like until 2022. But, uh, you know, there's hope. Something to look forward to around day 2000 ish. Uh, yeah. Anyways, got a package at the post office waiting for me. So, uh, just riding the e-bike over there. Since, uh, my airplane ticket got refunded, decided to splurge a little bit and buy this expensive sea post. I think it was like $150, which is on the cheaper side for a suspension sea post like this. I, uh, greased up the new post. I haven't shown the expensive part of the post. It's not just a pull. But, uh, yeah, my current seat, I've been trying to use, like, a foam seat and, uh, another thing. They're breaking and the gel is sliding around. It's, it's not working for me. This new suspension seat has, like, this cool, like, spring system on it that should, uh, you know, really remove the bumps. You know, this road's pretty smooth, but I'm riding over the little cracks and stuff to test it out as I can. The neighbors uh, got cherries on their tree. I'm like, wow, that was fast. But uh, yeah, I gotta get some better footage of the uh, springs. But, you know, distracted by this cat. He always comes out wanting attention. But also, what a good cat, you know? He's a funny guy. Alright, so. Maybe I should edit that down. Yeah. So you can see it compresses a little bit when I sit on it. But uh if I really like jump and put some weight on it, it doesn't seem to bottom out. It'd have to be a pretty big uh drop for it to bottom out, I think. And there's a little adjuster you can preload the spring a bit more if you want it to be a bit stiffer, so I'm doing that. Although, maybe it was fine the way it was. But yeah, should uh, help with all those small bumps. And I'm just using my regular hard seat. Also played some more of that video game. Just reused that footage. And uh, yeah, since I got my new seat post, I want to test it out and do a little bit of Uber at the same time. Picking up some frozen yogurts. You know how it is. Stayed downtown pretty much the whole time. Thought this was neat. They're like right at Gardner level on the fifth floor there. And then I picked up some Wendy's and uh, dropped it off here. I feel like, why do people gotta do this? They're like, meet me at the door. Please leave it at my unit door. I'll meet you at the entrance to the building. And it's like, man. And of course, after like asking them in a text message. There was no response for like four minutes. So I had to call them and I'm like, man, some people are bad at Uber. Anyways, looks like they've uh, painted the, uh, the bike lane dividers along Richmond. Although I guess they're not done and some of it is still like, you know, why well, they gotta close the bike lane like that for so long? When they aren't even painting there currently. Uh, so yeah, and uh, the Beverly and College Street intersection is finally open again. They were fixing a broken pipe or something. And yeah, this is my last drop off to a sketchy uh, apartment building. You know, I decided I'd go offline since I was so close to my house. Seemed like a convenient time. 
I mean, $34? Kind of a uh, shit amount of money, but that's a Tuesday for you. Later.